the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, St. Jerome Academy is proudly giving our yes to the mission. As an answer to the call of time, the Dominican Sisters of the Most Holy Rosary of the Philippines established schools to educate and to transform lives of young people the Dominican way. Today, the Dominican students are encouraged to learn, to grow, and to respond to the call, requires them to do in continuing the mission and live the truth, joy, and compassion for others. St. Dominic inspires us to respond with courage and hope to continue this mission. We, the Dominican Sisters of the Most Holy Rosary of the Philippines, as followers of St. Dominic, are also after for the holistic formation of the youth by providing them a transformative education. We strive hard to inculcate to them the core values that a Dominican learner should possess. At present, we are challenged with different uncertainties, so we need to do is to prepare these young people to possess the virtues that could help them grow and survive whatever adversities they may face in the real world. For St. Dominic, truth is most important virtue. St. Dominic is dedicated to truth and the truth that comes from God. As a Dominican, we should be bearers of truth as our school envisions us to speak the truth and to know the truth. If one knows the truth, it follows that one is giving himself truthfully. To know the truth that God is within our needs gives us the inspiration to serve Him compassionately, giving our lifting hearts to Him, for He is the only source of our joy. Being a Dominican student, I am molded by different values that make me acquire a holistic formation. These values are truth, joy, excellence, devotion to Mary, spirituality, and compassionate service. For better understanding of these first three core values, let us all learn this together. The first three Dominican core values are truth, joy, and compassionate service. These values are given to us by Saint Dominic, which he got from the crucified Jesus. As Dominican student, I should apply this voice in my daily life and share it with others. Truth. 
are Dominican core values that we should possess. I may say that being truthful is not easy to be done, but this value leads me to be joyful and to heartfully render a compassionate service to others. In order to become truthful, I should be determined to do what is asked from me. Life becomes easy if I am truthful in all actions that I make from time to time. Being prayerful is one way to help myself become truthful. It helps me widen my daily perspectives. Joy, one of the most important values that I should nurture within myself. It is not the joy I felt when receiving gifts from my friends or family. It is the joy that I experience when helping others wholeheartedly. I will cite an example based on my experience. I, as a choir member, I feel joy in serving the Mass through singing, because singing does not only to lead the people into prayer, but also to serve God, my Creator. I sing with all my heart and soul, so to express my gratitude to God. Being happy makes me become a positive thinker, and it makes my daily action become fruitful. Another Dominican value is compassionate service. A Dominican value that I should add, it is to serve or help others without expecting any return. In serving others, we should be dedicated and persevering. In doing this, I should be determined so that, in the end, I may find fulfillment in my action. For example, when I serve in the church as a choir, I am determined to sing because I know God gave me a talent that would make others happy. I do my service in the church without expecting any return from it. I attain fulfillment that makes me happy. I know that truth, joy, and compassionate service light and guide my way where I may attain the true happiness. These values make me own the seal of being a Dominican learner that whatever I do and wherever I go, I will forever cherish it. I was three years old when I was introduced to Pinocchio. I was very afraid to tell lies because it would make my nose longer. When I enrolled at St. Jerome Academy, we were made to recite the mission and vision of the school, which asked us to be bearers of truth. I realized that telling the truth is very difficult. I have to decide to choose what is right, but God wants me to tell what is true. My parents want me to tell the truth. Telling the truth will help stop many bad things from happening. I practice truth by doing my modules on my own and being true to myself. It is being brave to admit that we are wrong. Telling the truth might mean gaining and losing friends, but I know friends I gained in truth will be a treasure for kids. Truth is a value that we should possess. It is an act of being accord with reality. Sometimes we tell the truth, sometimes we tell lies. It is just to protect ourselves. We could be angry, we tell lies because of our emotion, because of our pride, because we try to prove something, because we are aiming for something. But in the end, we also realize that these are all wrong, that we commit mistakes against our fellow against our Almighty Father. Conscientiousness strikes after telling lies. It makes me feel sad after realizing my actions, but after asking forgiveness from God, I felt happy and relieved. We all know that God is a loving God, but He will always forgive us and give us chances. For me, always praying to God gives me strength to control my temper, to face the reality, this value should be applied in my daily life. For me, joy is a feeling that gives us happiness. It's a driving force for us to do better and achieve more. There are instances in my life 
that I always cherish because these experiences show me that God loves me so much. He allows me to feel happy and grateful for the things that I achieve. I will still remember when we won the basketball competition during the Inter-Dominican Sports Fest when I was in kindergarten. It was my first experience playing basketball with my fellow Jeromians. It reminds me that we should give our best in whatever we do so that we will not regret our decisions at the end. I also give joy to my parents by studying hard to get high grades and by accomplishing hard tasks. I also thank my parents for supporting me on what I'm doing. And I thank God for giving me the gift of joy because I think joy is a very important gift from God. Joy is a perspective. It is embracing peace and contentment as time goes by and as experiences teach. Joy is a practice and a behavior. When I experience too much, I see negative situations with hope and courage to face the consequences. Joy is an inner feeling. Joy endures challenges and adversities. I am a person who is joyful and always looking at the meaning of every situation and use it as a power to stand up. Being joyful is knowing the purpose of every situation. As a person, I may pursue happiness, but after all, I choose joy. Joy brings peace and contentment in my life. Joy that turns all the trials in my life into meaningful lessons that will help me to become the best version of myself. Compassionate service is loving and helping other people, especially the poor and the needy. By simple way of helping others, it can give us happiness and satisfaction. In giving, we don't need to be rich. We can give service by showing simple act of kindness to others. For example, we can donate our used clothing, toys, or even drop a single penny to those who are in need to show our care for them without expecting a return. Compassion is not pity or just feeling sorry for someone in pain, often accompanied by an uncritical sentimental benevolence. Compassion means to endure something with another person, to put ourselves in someone else's shoes, to feel others' pain as ours, and to enter generously into their point of view. The Golden Rule asks me, to look into my own heart, discover what gives me pain, and then refuse, under any circumstance, to inflict that pain on anybody else. I know from my experience that human beings do not limit their compassion to their own family and friends. Nobody is entirely without sympathy for other people. If I saw a child poised dangerously on the edge of a well, I would immediately launch forward to save him. My action is not inspired by self-interest. I would not stop to think whether or not he was related to me. I was not motivated by the desire to please his parents or win the admirations of my friends or by the fact that I were irritated by his cries for help. I would simply feel his plight in my own God and I would act to save. Jesus said, treat others the way you would have them treat you. Imagination is crucial to the compassionate life. Instead of maintaining myself in a state of deliberate heartlessness in order to keep suffering at bay, I should open my own heart to the grief of others as though it were my own. I begin to be compassionate when I cannot bear the sight of another's sorrow. Such an empathic attitude can inspire me to try to alleviate another's hardship. I can grow in compassion by recalling a person I like or a person I dislike. 
I have to think of others' goodness, other people's contribution to my life, their generosity, courage, and sense of humor. As I look deeply into their hearts, in so far as I can, and see the pain, the sufferings I was aware of, and all the secret sorrows that I will never know, I will desire them to be free of their pain and resolve to help them in any way I can. Wish for each the joy that I desire for myself, and finally admit that I have called myself the persons I like as well as the person I dislike. I grow in compassion as I think of others in the same way as I think of myself. Good day everyone. I am Jemar Harold Heeson, a registered nurse and the population program officer of the municipality of Duenas. I received my Dominican education from St. Jerome Academy from kindergarten to elementary. One of the most important thing that my alma mater has taught me is to serve mankind without asking anything in return just like the Good Samaritan. I lived with the mission of St. Jerome Academy, which is to adhere with the truth, commitment to service, and compassion for humanity. The reason why I chose to be in public service as a government officer, even though as a registered nurse, the opportunities of greener pasture abroad is so much delighting. But I once told myself before graduation that I will pay back to my community. Currently, I dedicate my time outside official functions in empowering our youth and serving the sick and injured. Back in 2014, we established the Domina Teen Center, which it has a main goal to create programs, projects, and activities to nurture the youth. We were able to provide advocacies, medical missions, mental health support, peer helping and technical assistance to the young people of Duenas. It started with one. Now, we will be establishing our second teen center in one of our far-flung barangay, Barangay Kabujan. I also helped establish and became the clinical facilitator and instructor of the Youth Drive Team, our local youth emergency response unit, a trusted partner of the local government and the entire Duanisanan community in providing emergency response rescue services, basic first aid, basic life support, trauma management services, and in turn, they are now teaching not only their fellow youth, but it includes adults. From two units, now we are operating 14 units with more than 100 volunteers covering the entire municipality of Duenas. They are able to serve more than 2,000 Duenasanons through the years and counting. As they live with the mantra of saving limbs and lives. That is despite of their age, 12 years old to 21 years old. These youth organizations have been very essential in the fight of the current pandemic. It gave me a sense of joy that recently I was able to witness these young people share their best practices, not only in the country, but to our neighboring Southeast Asia nations. At the same time, I continue to serve our parish and the Lord as an altar server and been in service for about 21 years already and helped mold young boys in serving the parish as their facilitator. 
It gives me a sense of fulfillment that I was able to share skills, knowledge, and compassion to our young for free. Because I believe that they can be agents of change once we start the course of responsibility while they are still teachable. I believe we can all be compassionate. We can all be of service to our fellow men. We don't need to have deep pockets of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Bill Gates to help others. We just need to use our God-given gifts, our loving hearts, and our caring hands to reach out others. Madamo Eid nga salamat. Good morning to everyone. I am uh, Father uh, Tapte Jomen L. Uh, Kaipo, the uh, command chaplain of training Dr. Kapan, Philippine Army. First and foremost, I would like to greet uh, the Jeromians. Happy 500 years of Byzantine uh, anniversary to all of us. Proud to be a, uh, a member of uh, Jeromian class uh, 91. I was actually uh, passed by May. I think uh, she belonged to class of class 92, if I'm not mistaken, in Catalan. She tasked me to give a sharing on one of the values on truth in line with my uh, or call as a, uh, a priest and uh, I would like to, to start with I would like to share these uh, two fundamental things on Angkor on the values or on the value of truth first uh, our life is always a constant search for meaning and happiness take note of this our life is always a constant search for meaning and happiness. I would like to begin my journey when I was uh, actually a seminarian. It was actually through the, uh, of course, endorsement and help of uh, Sister uh, Rafael Celestia. She was actually our uh, religion class before, from uh, third year to fourth year high school. And, uh, we came here in Manila way back in the year 1991, right after my graduation. So, uh, I learned the seminary and I spent my life for 15 years in this uh, seminary after, uh, before my ordination. And uh, finally, after so many years spending my life as a, uh, a priest and as a civilian outside teaching and uh, doing uh, other uh, Ministerial, uh, ministerial jobs. I entered in the military and uh, at present I already spent my life here for more than uh, seven years already at the military organization of the Philippines. And as a chaplain, I was actually assigned in different uh, units of assignment. At present, my assignment here is uh, I'm the command chaplain of training doctrine command Philippine Army, Campo Donnell, Santa Lucia, Capasco, and Lapa. And as a chaplain, I'm not only referring to myself, our ministry is always on board on this five-point program. First is uh, worship services, pastoral ministry, social, uh, socio-cultural services, moral education, and spiritual counseling. And uh, uh, the first uh, implication of truth is uh, our honesty of purpose. Meaning to say, uh, we, we need to ask ourselves, what am I going to do along the way? So life is actually a matter of choice, as long as we are honest towards ourselves. It gives us a sense of direction in life. Uh, along the way, in searching for something, in searching for meaning, of course there are like, imperfections. There are challenges. There are a lot of obstacles actually. But uh, those are actually obstacles. But uh, 
in themselves, they are not actually friends. And this third purpose, meaning to say, uh, if we are truly honest of what we are actually deciding for, Actually, everything follows. Uh, along the way, we're able to find the answer to all those questions that keep on bothering us, that keep on bothering me. Second is, uh, another implication of truth is uh, finally commitment. No commitment, if we are not actually committed to what we are doing, actually, we will not be happy. Even the simple things that we are being uh, tasked even the smallest or minor responsibility that uh, we have been entrusted. We cannot actually find a sense of fulfillment and happiness if we are not actually committed to what we are doing. So, I think that's all for this uh, moment of sharing. Uh, keep safe always. All the Jeromians, my best regards. Uh, to everyone and uh, have a nice day to all of us. We Filipino Catholics are celebrating this year the 500th anniversary of Christianity in our land. It's been 500 years of grace and mercy and we Dominicans are joining the whole church in celebrating this historic event in the life and mission of the church in the Philippines. Great joy, zeal of truth, and compassionate service to one another. Remembering the great efforts of the Dominican missionaries, which includes the priests, nuns, and lay teachers, we may realize that we must be grateful to God through their remarkable words in the service of fellow men and their joy to live out the faith and dedication to the pursuit of truth as a vacant life of Christ. We are what we are now because those who came first to do the mission labored in vain, yet not only the most. Joy is different and powerful, for it can make the heavy, light, and the difficult easy. How is it possible? The man who endures suffering can still be joyful because he endures this suffering with charity since joy is the fruit of charity along with peace and mercy. So, even in hard and trying time, the heart that loves can still be joyful. We, Dominicans, are known to be joyful too. It is simply because we love what we do and the people we serve. This selfless love has reached in its summit, and therefore, it is no longer the usual love that the world knows. Truth set us free from ignorance and sin. And that is why whoever lives in truth shall not go astray. We, Dominicans, value truth because we are dedicated in forming the future of the church and lead them into the right path. Integrity is the fruit of truth because what we do in the name of truth make us credible and therefore obtaining it Christ is truly alive in us, who is the truth himself. Since we know the truth, we cannot but render our service to one another. As Christ said, you will be known that you are my servants if you love one another. We Dominicans are known to be loving because we serve beyond what is being asked. We give our whole selves in service, especially to the poor because we believe in the spirit of the gospel. May the risen Lord inspire us to be more joyful as He shares to us the glory of His resurrection. May the values of joy, truth, and compassionate service shall grow more in our hearts and we may joyfully celebrate the 500 years of Christianity with fire blazing in our hearts and bravely set the whole world on fire. Thank you for listening and sparing your time with us. We hope and we pray that the values the OP Model Sisters uphold and advocate 
and have shared by our Jeromian young learners, alumni and teachers, will help us grow to be better Christians. Along with our celebration of the 500 years of faith in our land, let us all strive to be more compassionate, especially to the lost, the least, and the last, as well as to be more joyful than our soul too. Christ Jesus, the reason we Good day to everyone. Yeah.